My name is Monica and I'm a product designer here at Roughware. Um, and this is Giles. And we're here to talk to you guys about the Cloud Chaser today. So the Cloud Chaser is, um, it's been in our line for a really long time. Um, it's, I think it was one of our first pieces of apparel. And it's kind of one of those staples in the Roughware apparel line. It's got um, a waterproof back panel, so it's really great for um, days out skiing, snowshoeing, um, or even just in the cold rain. It's got full body coverage, so it has that, um, that great sleeved fit that holds in the heat around the dog's armpits, and it's kind of just one of our staples in our apparel line. So the only thing that's changed about the Cloud Chaser for this season is really the lower stretch fabric. Um, we were having some problems with abrasion and just durability of our current four-way stretch. So we found a supplier that was able to offer us a better, um, more durable fabric while also um, being a little bit of a higher pile. So it's, it's a little bit warmer while also being super durable and having the same amount of stretch. So we're really excited about that. Um, it's not really a visible change, but it's just something to note and um, you know, if you have customers that were upset with a previous style because of the abrasion or the pilling, um, this new fabric is really superior. And then other than that, it's got the same features and the same fit as the current Cloud Chaser. So you've got your form-fitting sleeved coverage down here, which really just, it retains the heat around the dog's armpits um, and it allows the dogs, it's uh, patterned in a way that allows the dogs to really get that full range of motion. This jacket has a full zip with a protective flap over top, um, which allows the water to bead off instead of entering at the zipper, which just keeps the back of the dog that much more dry. Um, and then another feature that we've added is this anti-snag ribbon on the inside, which basically just allows for a seamless um, zip up. So it, since it is a tighter style, sometimes we um, will get the zipper snagging on the flap on the inside. And with that piece of ribbon in there, it just adds a little bit of structure so that the zipper rides seamlessly behind it. The four-way stretch lower panel um, is, we kind of touched on it with the new design features, but basically um, allows the dog's full range of motion while retaining that heat on the belly and the, in the armpit area. And then we've got, of course, our reflective accents for low light visibility and safety at night and our light loop for attaching the beacon. So this jacket is made up of just a few key components that make it what it is. Um, the top panel is a polyester spandex mix. Um, it's a three layer stack up. So the outside is that polyester spandex um, stretch soft shell that has a DWR on the face. So that allows the water to start beating up. And then it's laminated with a waterproof breathable membrane and a polyester fleece backer. Um, so it's a great mix of being warm while also waterproof and breathable. The lower panel is also a polyester spandex blend. Um, it's a four-way stretch and it is also brushed on the backside so you get that kind of fleecy feeling so it's super soft against the skin. We're using a YKK Vizlon zipper on this one. Um, it's really great for um, not collecting a lot of hair, which is really nice. Um, and then of course we have our zipper flap. So um, it just protects the, the dog from getting their hair pulled as you're zipping up the jacket. This product is great for layering under a harness or one of our vest style apparel pieces, or it's great for just a standalone um, layer to kind of keep the elements off the dog. As far as sustainability goes, the soft shell fabric on the back is Blue Sign approved. We're offering the Cloud Chaser in Obsidian Black this season, um, and it's got fern green color pops. So it merchandises really well with a lot of our other winter gear primarily the Polar Treks that are also launching this season, which also have fern green color pops, um, and they're using the same shell fabric, so it's gonna create a really good kit. Now Giles and I are gonna demo how to put on and take off the Cloud Chaser. So I typically like to unzip it just to the point where it's at the base of the collar. It just makes it a little easier to zip up. And then just go over the head, get that collar out of there. One arm, other arm, and get it lined up, zip it up. And then to take it off, it's super easy. All you gotta do is unzip it and they can just step right out. Come on, good girl. So that's an overview of the Cloud Chaser. Thanks so much for watching.